to the one by one like each class of Shimreza and the colleagues. This is Sumran Kumar Mandal, lecturer in English. Once again, it's time to for you today. Dear lovers, today the topics we are going to discuss is very much important for English grammar section. The name of the topics is the right form of verbs, I mean the use of the right form of the verbs, English second paper. Okay, to the class number six. Uh, in this perspective, I mean uh, the specific uh, right form of the verbs, class number six. Okay, we are learners. Today, um, we will discuss uh, a very important, very, very important uh, thing. Uh, in which cases, in which cases, this is very much confusing. In which cases, we may use present indefinite tense. In which cases, okay, dear learners, uh, now we enjoy the start of our topics. Okay, right now, verbs in this uh, perspective. <coughs> dear learners, uh, at first, uh, we know uh, universal truth. Universal truth. Universal T or T S A L Universal Truth Here you T I S Universal Truth In this case we may use present infinite tense I mean simple present Universal Truth uh, For example uh, <coughs> The Earth E A R T H The Earth moves M O P E S the earth moves around R O U N around the sun S U N the earth moves around the sun here this is the right of the verse that moves so uh, the right of the verse will be the sun moves around the sun uh, so the earth moves around the sun this is a universal truth okay in this case and another um, the sun um, moves, uh, the sun sets uh, in the west and rises in the east and sets on the west. This also a famous universal truth. Uh, uh, next, uh, we can say habitual fact. Okay, uh, so uh, habitual fact or universal truth. Uh, in general, we uh, uh, know uh, we have learned in these two cases. Uh, present infinite tense must be used, but uh, uh, another uh, universal truth or uh, historical truth, we, we may say historical truth is, I guess this, you are historical truth, T-R-U-T-A-S, historical truth. In this case, we may use present infinite tense. For example, uh, Bangladesh B A N G Bangla B E S A is Bangladesh uh, dash uh, in, in the term of uh, in the form of right form of words, I would like to show you the numbers. Bangladesh become B E C O M E Bangladesh become independent. In D N D N T independent in independent in 1971. You know, uh, Bangladesh become independent in 1971. Then, what will be the correct answer? Uh, you may be. Uh, the answer may be Bangladesh became independent in 1971. Uh, they are not the correct right from verbs. Yeah. Historical truth. If there is a the sentence remaining historical truth, then this sentence may be used in present indefinite. So, Bangladesh, the correct answer will be the Bangladesh becomes independent in 1971. Okay, becomes. B E C O M E S becomes Bangladesh becomes independent in 1971. So this is the uh, prominent appropriate example of historical truth. Okay, dear learners. Then 
uh, geographical truth. Geographical truth. I would like to show you. Geographical truth, dear learners. Geographical. Geographical truth, dear you. Yes, geographical truth, dear learners. <coughs> geographical truth. Oh, uh, geographical. Here. Uh, example maybe <coughs> the Bay of Bengal uh, lies to the south of Bangladesh the uh, the Bay of Bengal
hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, what will that I come from? That is a scientific tool. That uh, water, if we divide hydrogen and oxygen, we will find water. So, water contains, contains, okay, yes, the right one is contains. Water contains hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, the elements. Yes, thank you. Uh, so, uh, in this example, we find a scientific truth. Scientific truth we find here. The elements. Uh, so, we find universal truth, geographical truth, historical truth, scientific truth, and then uh, we will go back to the habitual fact. Okay, dear learners. So, we have found uh, um, four kinds of truth universal truth, habitual, uh, universal truth, historical truth, geographical truth, and scientific truth. You will have to memorize your learners. Okay. Next, uh, I will show you habitual fact. Okay. Habitual fact. Hab uh, habitual fact. Habitual fact. <clears throat> he always he always can C E R R Y he always carry he always carry umbrella He always carry umbrella. Okay, so we find here he the subject of this sentence as a habit that carry umbrella always. If it would be a uh, rainy or sun, he used to use umbrella every time. Okay, you are learning. So, this is a habitual fact. So, you yeah, must be uh, used in this sentence is a form of present infinitive. So, the correct form of verb will be carries. Carries will be the right form of verb. C A R I. Yes, okay. Honestly, correct. Carries is the correct answer. Thank you. He always carries umbrella. Okay, dear learners. Uh, next, uh, this is a very much important comments. In the case of comments, commentators are always used in the form of present indefinite. I mean, comments you may be in T S C O M M E N T S in front of comments. Okay, then I'd like to see you. Rohim. Rohim. P. S. S. E. S. Okay. Mm. The learners. Sorry, I'd like to show you the form of present. Right form of pass. P. S. S. Pass. The ball to Karim K A R I M Karim Pass. Mm. Okay, sorry, uh, and thus they are pass. Yes, 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 pass. Uh, To come on and he shot up and up and he 
the shorts. Yes, there is no T shirt and uh, shirt and <coughs> session uh, in uh, football mass in football mass so uh, in this case in this comments you must use present indefinite tense okay we used generally in generally present indefinite tense so in this case present indefinite tense is so must so uh, you can easily um, uh, give the correct answer in this case so, uh, Rohim past, I mean, uh, Rohim is third person singular number and must be used as or yes. So, Rohim passes, P A S S E S. Rohim passes the ball to Karim, passes, P A S S E S. <coughs> passes to Kamal and he shows S A S O R T S and he. Shorts S A S O T S sorry S A S O T S shorts shorts and that is go okay you have make a score uh, so this is very very important uh, to know you and you I, I think you will have to memorize it uh, forever. Uh, comments in case of comments we internally use present uh, independent tense uh, Rahim passes the ball to Karim passes to Kamal and he shows and that is go okay dear learners um, uh, in these cases in these various cases we uh, internally use present independent tense so I think that uh, after this session you uh, <coughs> will have to answer all the questions in these types and i think uh, all thickness has disappeared after this okay dear learners now uh, i will show you i will discuss with you another very much important uh, important matter uh, in this case yes, uh, in this uh, we always have particular frustration. <coughs> Use of I. Use of I. The question will area is the of I. <coughs> or English letter. I. When uh, I me, my, my, uh, <coughs> I'd like to show you in arrow. I, me, <coughs> my, my, myself. Okay, the first in this high ways I may be used in English, since the English language generals. Here, I has a meaning, it has a dictionary meaning. The question comes here if used I in a sentence, then the bar after the bar will be used. After the part we will use yes or yes. I think uh, and uh, 
In another cases, uh, the question may be arise the uttered verb is or yes or yes which may be used or not. Then I would like to solve these questions to you. Then huh? I when I is used in a sentence, huh? I read I, I read a book. Then I read yeah, I has a dictionary meaning. Okay, I read a book that I read a subject. In this case, uh, we cannot use yes or yes. Okay, then I read. But when I is used as a letter, as a letter, then S or use yes. S, S or yes is used I when I is used as a when when I is used as a letter when I is used as letter then yes or yes after words is used for example So this is very much important, huh? dear learners. So I think that this business will be easier here uh, after this class. And uh, I think now you have <coughs> understand the topics. Dear learners, no more today. More when we meet again with another topics in the next class. To enjoy our next class or to participate in our next class, visit our Facebook page by name Shimuraja and College Facebook page and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thank you very much for staying a lot of time with us.